war, as I have mentioned before, um, in France was in a turmoil. And so for me, mathematics was a way to escape from, from the French Revolution and, and all the things that France was going through at the time. But mathematics was um, just a passion of mine. So being a woman um, during that time period was hard. Nonetheless, it's very hard. gave it all up to pursue her dream. My father and mother did not approve of my mathematical studies. I had to sneak around a lot, full candles, had to wear bed sheets. My parents never really approved of my studies. But they eventually ended up funding my research. Pick up the, the name Monsieur LeBlanc whenever you submitted mathematical work to the universities. Why was this? Um, yes, I wanted to protect my identity as a woman. As I've already mentioned, it is not very easy to be pursuing something that was thought of as a man's work. I don't care what you say. I'm going to study math. Do you think it was worth it? all the risks that you took to study math. Yes, I think, I think mathematics is a fascinating subject. And I think that centuries from now, people will still be exploring something that I, like I said, is worth dying for. Mathematics was my passion. For some women, it's cooking or cleaning or attending to their husband. For me, it was, it was a life, a lifestyle. It was something that had consumed all of me, and I couldn't um, Well, I had submitted three different papers, and, and on the third try, in 1816, I won the contest um, that it essentially um, the French Academy of Sciences had a group um, called the Memoir of Elastic Plate. Um, and it was my greatest contribution to mathematics, I believe. She helped pave the way for the world's most difficult problem. Me. Uh, Lagrange, who was actually my supervisor, um, and I was undercover as Monsieur Le, Le Blanc, um, he actually became a mentor and friend and helped me in my studies. Being a woman in the field of mathematics, Ms. Germain never fully received the credit she deserved. For example, all her theorems with elastic place and elasticity allowed the Eiffel Tower to be built, yet her name was never credited like the other names on the Eiffel Tower. Ms. Germain's legacy will always remain something for women in mathematics and women everywhere.